good afternoon students hope everyone are doing well in our last class we have done why a country needs a government and the three levels of government of chapter 3 so today let us do laws and government and the types of government so let's start laws and the government a a rule of conduct established and enforced by the authority legislation or custom of a given community state or nation is called law it is both the responsibility of the government and citizen to uphold the integrity of laws the government needs law to maintain peace and order in society law establish justice it is meant to achieve constitutional ideas that is equality and right against discrimination law makes it compulsory for the people to obey it again the government makes law and everyone who lives in the country has to follow it this is the only way governments can function as the government has the power to make decision similarly it has the power to enforce its decision example there is a law that says that all persons driving a motor vehicle must have a license any person caught driving a vehicle without a license can either be jailed or fined a large sum of money so law are made by the legislature so here legislature means law making bodies such as parliament and as subjects of a nation individual need to maintain it and again government even has the ability to implement these laws next courts have the ability to offer equity that is the court have the ability to offer remedies to the distress party for example if a person feels that they were not hired for a job because of their religion or caste he or she may approach the court and claim that the law is not being followed the court can then give orders about what should be done and again another example we can take that is if someone feels that the law of the land is not being obeyed in a particular situation he can go to the court with his or her grievance the court needs to hear the case and announce decisions as per the law of the land after the decision of the court the government officials need to ensure that law is properly enforced next comes the types of government so there are two main types of government so one is democracy and other is monarchy so in a democracy people have the power to elect their leaders democracy is a rule by the people and so in a fair democratic government individual have a privilege to pick their leaders as their representative for example uh, the democratic countries are india and usa democracy is defined 
as the government by the people for the people and of the people in this system power is transferred from one leader to another on the basis of people's choice in a democracy it is the people who give the government the power and they do this through election in which they vote for a particular person and elect them and once elected this persons form the government so in a democracy the government has to explain its actions and defends its decision to the people now next another form of government is monarchy when the head of the government is king or queen then this is called monarchy the king or queen enjoys supreme power power is transfer or transferred from one king to another on the basis of inheritance this means that the son or daughter of a king becomes the next king or queen the monarch may have a small group of people to discuss matters with but the final decision making power remains with the monarch unlike in democracy kings and queens do not have to explain their actions or defend the decision they take monarch monarchy is still practiced in a handful of countries like Bhutan and Saudi Arabia So students this is all for today on my next class i shall discuss democratic governments in detail and women suffrage movement hope the topic i have covered today will be helpful for you all here i conclude thank you